<laughs> nope, it's just a fox. No, oh, I just wanted to kill the fox. Hello and welcome back to Arcade Games and Neon Lights. I'm Mouncy, joined here by Dare, and once again we're playing Elder Scrolls Online. Hello. We're taking a break from the main quest to do the quest at Two Wind Moons Temple, which I've done with another character and absolutely love, but before that, we saw a, dra a dragon grounded. Don't think we should take it on. One of them. Oh, this, this dude I think might be waiting for someone. So, like, waiting for a dragon fighting group or something. Yeah, so. Maybe we should stick around. But first, I should put on my appropriate dragon fighting gear. Uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I just had to. Away with it. Oh, there's some more people. Hmm. Ah, good. I asked him if he was waiting for anyone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just circling around. I see some pretty flowers. Uh, he's not waiting for anyone in particular, just waiting for more people. Yep. Okay, I used to um, do that a bit at gazes and stuff. <laughs> I think we'll just wait for... Now, these days, whenever um, <clears throat> those things happen in the, the non-DLC areas, with those whatchamacallits, circle things, I forgot what yeah. they're called, they get so crowded with people that it's pretty much impossible to get a hit on most of the enemies. <laughs> I feel like they give you like XP or something just for being there. Mm, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, it seems that way because I'm sure I've barely done anything in them. God, I've got one of the characters that, and he uses the um dragon pet, but it's like everyone's using the dragon pet. <laughs> yeah, but it really suits them, so I can't change it. Well, if this is their mother. Oh no, wait, those are blue dragon, that's a red dragon. Yeah. Probably not related. I think the lore of the little little baby dragon pet, pet is that it's actually just an imp that turned into a dragon. Oh yeah. That's pretty. That's cute. Yeah, that happens every time you log in. It's cool. Oh, we got a savior of elsewhere over here. Ooh, cool. They've already finished the main quest, they obviously know what they're doing. Okay. Oh, and a person called White Pumpkin. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. <laughs> Hello. I like that. Also with the dragon pet. <laughs> well, it... <laughs> <We're> just leaving. <laughs> well, it... <laughs> yeah, it looks like the massive dragon fight might not be happening. Do you want to just try and fight with what we have just for the heck of it? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's Leroy Jenkins. God, I'm scared of him. Hello. Hello. Come in. Uh. Are you friendly? <laughs> friendly? Whoa. That's... <laughs> Look how much ah, wow. Doing like that... two... <laughs> oh. That's... <laughs> yeah, I'm way shining it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Ah, oh, that was great. There we are. So, after that failure of a dragon fight, Dana and I are going to the Two Moons Temple. We'll get back to you once we're there. And we've arrived at Two Moons Temple. We might as well activate the way shrine, then go inside and find the quest. <laughs> Aha! Instantly, the person who Don't did the quest is. Huh. Hey, instantly, the person who starts the quest is right here. Hi, Spare a kindness for a priest of two moons. 
Adoras is at the end of his rope, dangling by the scruff. What's wrong? This one returns from warning the speaker of the main of a dire prophecy, only to find his fellow priests speaking little sense and doing even less. Raving and rambling about our moon bishop's visions and growing more demented by the moment. Demented how? She tells the priests to burn our moon sugar, so they do. She tells them to smear cheese upon the walls, so they do. She tells them to douse the temple fires with their tongues, so they do. I fear someone will die if this continues. I'll help you get to the bottom of this madness. Bright moons shine upon you, Walker. This one pursued his friend, Zarga, before you arrived. The fool chases a beast's young with a butterfly net, and woe unto him when their mother follows the commotion. Please, find Zarga before he is eaten. <laughs> this one has you now, pretty butterfly! That ain't no butterfly. So cute. Oh, no. You smashed it. Such pretty colors leaking out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you smashed that as flat as a flapjack. But who said you could play with my toys? That's absolutely sheer Gorath, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hello, my new playmate. <laughs> Had to find someone with their wits still about them. If I remember my Khajiit law, then I mean, the sheer Gorath's called the Skooma Cat in, in elsewhere. Yep. I was hoping that. there'd be some quest in elsewhere that would play to that, and I was not disappointed. Mm. Who are I'm you? I'm a cat. I thought that bit was obvious. Unless I'm not a cat. Meow. Meow. Nope. Cat. <laughs> You're not as sharp as I thought. Attack the team one too many. God, he's so cute. Man. Yep. I know, Real right? Worse for them. <laughs> worse for who? The priest, silly. You really are clueless, aren't you, plaything? How are you going to win the game if you can't even find the pieces? Am I going to have to dangle every answer in front of you like cheese-stuffed mice hanging by their entrails? You're behind the mask at the temple, aren't you? Ah, that's more like it. Maybe there's hope for you after all. Now hurry your heroic hiney to my playground, or it's going to be the blind leading the blind out there. <laughs> <laughs> Toodles! Just when you thought Shogaf couldn't get any cooler. He's way cooler Keep like that. And he vanishes with butterflies. Because of course he does. He loves butterflies. He probably says something different if you do the Mages Guild stuff. Hmm, See, that's all about him. Oh no, stop this madness. Why can't you see reason? Seeing is the problem, Adoras. That's why we need it. Maybe we don't need it. This one's claws are sharp. Pop, pop, and we're all saved. No, it uh, must be the fork. It won't work otherwise. Fork, shall go off? Oh, the fork. Hmm. Thinking emoji. Oh, you are <laughs> safe. I hope the same may be said about Sarka. So let's head back to the temple. Moons, I pray he does not get any other ideas. Adoras has his hands full as it is. He found these ones searching for a fork to put out their eyes. They want to blind themselves? The moon bishop told them that if they blind themselves, they would remain hidden from the dragon's sight. Because logically, if you can't see it, it can't see you. Oh yeah, that's how it uh, works. Not just any fork. A two-tined iron fork smelling ever so slightly of roast beef. Please. Help me keep them from finding this smelly thing. Right, what you need me to do? This one smells meat wafting on the wind. It is not an odor he would call beefy, but he thinks it may be the trail they were following. 
Haldoras will keep his eyes on these ones, so they may keep their eyes. Yeah, cannibals. No, oh, I didn't notice that. I feel like my bloody heal is more lethal than my DPS characters. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your lunch, but we need one of your forks. Oh, of course, the fork of her repilation. Aha! Where's the mod to replace all the sheer Gorath with Screamer Cat? <laughs> yeah, that's totally happened. If this one must talk in circles with lunatics much longer, he too will go mad. Did you find any offending forks at the campground? Yes, here, take a look. <sighs> Jit gets all goose pimply in the hackles just touching it. Adoras fears things are even worse than he imagined. His fork reeks of more than beef. It stinks of oblivion. Meaning what exactly? There is no denying it now. Our temple is caught in the claws of the skooma cat. He must be responsible for our moon bishop's strange visions. But how he spread his madness to the priests, I cannot fathom it. I already know, but who is the skooma cat? Shegorath, or Sheogorath to some, the crook-tailed son of Anur. Oh, that delicious Khajiit lore. The mm. <laughs> stars. He speaks from across the I love how this wasn't even developed by Bethesda, and yet is crazy she faithful to Elder Scrolls lore. In the flesh. It's more faithful than half the actual Bethesda games. <laughs> he appeared as a small cat. Alfic. The skooma cat should not be able to cross the lunar lattice. If he walks among us, then Joan and Jode must truly be out of alignment. We must check on the temple. All right. Please, you go ahead to the temple. Find our moon bishop. Keep her from spreading any more of this madness. Hadoras will meet you there, once he leads these ones to safety without them straying toward any other foolishness. Oh, my ears are burning hotter than Dagon's backside! Come on, <laughs> give him a scratch, would you? I see you met Forky. Been talking about me again, hasn't it? Such a gossip, that one. But you can hear the ocean if you stick it in your ears. Give it a try! No thanks. Why are you doing this? Doing what? The purring. I don't know. Just happens at the darndest times. Smelling a bowl of cream, laying eyes on a plump ball of yarn, licking me... Oh, wait. I feel a grooming coming on. <laughs> Why are you trying to hurt the priests? Who's trying? Oh, sure, you've kept a handful all boring and breathing. But we've been having a right riot in the temple. You ever hear cats always land on their feet? Turns out, it's true. Of course, their feet wind up by their ears, but why split <laughs> hairs, eh? <laughs> Stop this. Stop? Stop? We're just getting to the best part. I think they're really getting the hang of it. Last one got one good bouncing. Oh, he's so he cool. Like a ripe mm -hmm. tomato. <laughs> oh, I think the Moon Bishop's giving it a go. Don't want to miss that. Oh no, gotta hurry. <laughs> really like the temples here. Hmm. Moment, you will witness our salvation. Salvation? 
Moon Bishop Sizenza said we must ascend with Kenarthi to escape the dragons. True cats will reach the sands behind the stars by stepping between the two moons. We have not found the path yet, but now our prophet will show us the way. I need to stop this. Oh, have faith. Joan and Joan have shone like beacons for the moon, Bishop. She will lead us all to salvation, and you can join us, Walker. I don't think so. Never actually seen this game do, like, camera angles. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Finally, it's caught up with 2018. <laughs> Kenarthi, please lend this one your wings. Sizenza should see where to step. Her vision showed it true, but she cannot see it now. They aren't your vision. The Skumaka is playing tricks on you. No, this one sees by the light of the two moons. These are not fevered sugar dreams. She saw the dragon spring from the mouth of the world and swallow the moon. She saw her temple turn to ash. She must act before it is too late. Maybe some of your visions were real, but all you're doing now is searching your followers. Sizenza tried to save them. She sees so much that she is blinded. What is the truth? What are the lies? She can't tell what is real. I'm real. Just come down from the ledge and I'll help you. Yes. I... Oh. I need to sit down. Gather my thoughts. Oof. Oh, no, you don't. Get your paws off my favorite painting. Oh, look at you running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Nothing beats a chicken without an organ. Believe me, I've tried. You came awfully close to spoiling me fun, though. I like my fun. What have you done with the moon, Bishop? <laughs> Why? So you can keep hogging all the toys? Oh, no, no. These are mine. I licked them. <laughs> How much more marking do I have to do? What will it take to get you to leave these people alone? Alone? Who wants to be alone? Trapped in their own head until all the life and joy of the world leaks out and leaves an ugly grey corpse. They're better off in my company, sure. Suppose I could let them go? If you'd rather be my plaything instead. And if I agree? Then I whisk you home to where the real fun is. No, oh, I haven't hosted company since half past. <laughs> ah, you'll love what I've done with the place. It'll be like you never left. This seems I like a great idea. Of a grand mouth bit. So, what do you say? Fine, I agree. Come on, Blakey. The game's a face. <laughs> Ooh, trunk. <laughs> Monster. A thing. What's he called? Oh! <laughs> Still loading. Well, I loaded in, I saw one of the big little horny monsters, and then he became a deer. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, good wheel. We're in the same area. Up there, he, there he's horn, horny again. <laughs> oh god, don't, don't be in the red bit. <laughs> mm, nope, it's just a fox. <clears throat> oh, I just wanted to kill the fox. Uh, oh god! Just... Oh. oh, I haven't seen these Bit. before. Oh my... There's a bit of everything here. <laughs> because of, would you expect anything less from Shogorf? You screw my cat. 
<laughs> oh, it's the juices. Yep. Back. The Daedric variety, I'd assume. Someone's invisible. Are we all doing the night blade tricks? Me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> that was a thing. Yay, a thing can be morphed now. <laughs> Just juggling. Yeah. He's having a great time. Until we came along. Huh? The other one. Ah. Yeah, I'm being followed. I what? Oh, I don't, oh, I don't think we were actually being followed. Yeah. I must see. There you go, trying to play with my toys again. Well, oh, how the moons twinkle in those glassy eyes! You want to stare off into space and time? I'll show you the future, past and present. Look at you. Scurrying around, lost as can be. Ever get a God, what a like great a cat. <laughs> you find distractions. You like a butterfly. Ha! Ah, distracting butterfly. I do snakes up. up on old times. Not that it's any a butterfly of two heads. You One sips Jesus from his own abdomen, the other softly the screams, and I was reading that! <laughs> Times. This has happened before. Of course it's happened before! Everything's happened before! <laughs> the from chasing their own tails till they're slithering down our throats! Oh, you mean with her? This is when I found my new boy. Why make her relive that? had eyes for me since the first time we met! Okay, until let me read it now. Head around right ways. Now I've got to get her looking back! Then that's so softly screams an almost human voice. That to keep her from repeating her present in the future. Keep on playing. There's several things you can use too. Jeez, bitch. <laughs> Look what I've got. <laughs> I originally went for the cream, but I will mm. take a look at the butterflies. <laughs> oh, five, two, eight, one, six. Oh, bait cheese! <laughs> this is amazing. I need to read what the cheese says. You again. Oh, that's a... Toys oh, jeez. That's a mouse in that cheese. It's time to pack you up. Look what I've got. Chasing butterflies now, plaything. Ah, to be young again. I must have spent my first three or four thousand years terrorizing those colorful little cooties. Alas, I'm a grown man, cat god. With grown mad cat god tastes to get back to. Now get! I'll be back. You again. Toys but I've got cheese, cheese, cheese. Enjoy a few thousand. Oh, an empty ball. It's all people get you when sunstone comes around. Do I look like a rat to you? Am I a rat? Oh, I did it! Off with you then! Find important cat thing to do! By accident! <laughs> Big brain! Wait your turn, play thing! There'll be plenty of time for me to chase it! But I've got... Oh, is that cream? Oh, I could go for some fatty bovine discharge right now. Why'd you go and bring it to me in a cup? Cats don't have thumbs! Those cats. Why don't I have thumbs? Hold on to that while I grow thumbs. <laughs> this might take a bit. I'll fix something up. Oh, cream. Oh, 
know I haven't had cream since I made Otar cry over it. <laughs> no! Come back! Senza could almost see it. We burn our hair and lay scorched before the dragons. But what then? What then? Sinisa, it's not real. This isn't your temple. But the dragons came. Sisenza saw it. They will burn her temple. Burn us all if she doesn't see the path. It's Skumba Cat, remember? He's making you see these false visions. It feels familiar. Like this one has done this before. Is this the future vision? Or the vision future? She cannot tell anymore. Help this one, please. Show her. Show. Zena. Hey, I just messed that up. I can pick up all the chase. Unattended for one minute before some hero <laughs> comes to clean it up. Go tidy your own drawers. That's a horny boy. It's already dead. The oh. up guy probably took care of everything ahead. Yep. Oh, not Except that. Hey, where'd you go? Down the corner. Here I am. Oh. Oh, I see. Find way to distract them. Oh, I have seen it. I have seen the way forward. Let's see. John and Jod have shown Festive me. Festive severed head. We protect our temple. Bless your eyes, Moon Bishop. Bay what cheese. must we do? We must create an anchor beneath two moons. And some delightfully long arm over here. Mm. That's the key. Apologies, Moon Bishop. This one does not see. They'll see clear enough once the anchor's built. <laughs> the anchor will let you all see as I do. All will become clear soon. Think you're the cream of the crew, eh? Well, you won't be filling my head with daydreams of sweet cow squeezings this time. I lapped up every last drop. Now what are you gonna do with all that dry toast, hey? <laughs> Look what I found. Yarn. So soft and bouncy. <laughs> Just makes me want to bat it around like a newborn babe. No! You're trying to distract me again. Well, I'm not having it! Are you sure you don't want to the yarn? The door. No! Wait, yes! Geet. Keep dangling those luxurious ropes. <laughs> Saizenza has seen you at her temple, Faithful. She hopes you will help her with this anchor and save it from the dragons. Making an anchor? Yes, to buoy her temple through this storm. Joan and Jod have shown it to me, and through it, their light will guide us all to salvation. How's it supposed to do that? It will hold open a tiny gap in the lunar lattice, so our temple might slip between the moon's shadows. Less so between Joan and Jod, we will surely be safe from the dragons. Where are you supposed to place the anchor where it's done? We will tuck it away beneath our temple to hold us firm through these troubled times. Come, I will show you, and we can begin. Ah! You're right. She not. I was batting her thoughts into a glorious tango before oh, you came oh. along. Ugh. Now I'm gonna have to start again. Oh, so much cheese. I assume. <laughs> cheese for everyone. I got some cheese in the fridge right now. I'm not allowed to just be invisible sometimes. That's rude. Ah. Oh, the cheese is on the spit. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> that really is cheese. I I I didn't know that the first time playing this. <laughs> 
Guess he like well, he always likes cheese, but <laughs> Hey Paul. Oh. I see. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And the center of it all, more cheese. Uh, we don't use that yet, I think. We need to kill something which isn't here. And because we're insane. I think someone else killed it first and now we have to wait for it to respawn? I don't know. Yeah, that that's usually what happens. If not, <sighs> I know we can go in and out again. That sometimes works too. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, that guy's always. Uh, let's just go over again and see if it's already respawned, because a bunch of things just respawned. Hmm. No. Mm. Well, there's the skooma cat. There's that. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Huh? Where? Cute. No, I meant the skimmer cat, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I think we might have okay, to. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Turn it on and off again. <laughs> uh, nope. Oh. Guess we have to get this guy first. Uh, hey. It's so rude when Nightblades use their Nightblade tricks on me and Nightblade. <laughs> can I kill a monkey? Yes, I can. In and okay. Out. Let's try that again. <clears throat> There's still nothing there. Hmm. Darn it. Yes, seem to be someone else in this instance, so maybe they'll need to go in and out too. It's very pretty here. Yeah. <sighs> Boing. Come on boss, respawn. Try in and out again. I'll well take care of these guys. Oh, I see red. Huh? Oh, he's he's here. Oh, coming. <laughs> I was all tapped out, you fool. That's unfair. Pay for that. I'll make a back action. Tank him. Ah, oh, much better. I live. Oh. oh. Okay, finally. Jeez. That's enough cat and mouse for one day. Our our like friend is celebrating too. We're jumping around. No, not really. I was told about this. I knew it was a good catch, but I had to oh, go. Right. Yeah, so I did. <laughs> but then I thought it'd be more fun to just keep you both. I was half right. You're a little too good as a plaything. It's not fair if you're always winning. But not fair is you cheating. But our character's such a spoil sport. <laughs> the rules. You'd get it if you just let me whack you on the noggin a few hundred times. No? Well, game's over. Off with you now. Don't be a sore loser. Look at you! Making demands! In my games! In my realm! Alright! One last impossible challenge for you then! How's that for sporting? <laughs> Say my name three times backwards! The question is which <laughs> option to go with? I'm doing the first one, dude. <laughs> I... I did that the first time. I'll try a second one. 
knew I should have gone with frontwards. They never expect that. <laughs> Anyone who turned their back to a daydream prince is a wedge short of a wheel. He fights Haskell. Go on and mm. take that one. You earned it. <laughs> Gonna write some fan fiction later. <laughs> My dreams. <laughs> now, out you go before Haskill sees the mess you've made. Neither of us wants to hear <laughs> that. Escape this nightmare quickly. Oh, she's so tiny. I didn't notice. <laughs> Haduras. What? What Oh, happened? she is. It was not you, Saizenza. It was the schooner cat that brought these misfortunes. Walker, this one remembers you from her dreams. Your face, your voice. Two moons guiding her through the fog. Saizenza cannot repay you enough for this. Shakur's whole temple should be gone now. Saizenza is to blame. The Skuma Cat would have never caused this chaos if not for her weakness. She led her Clouder astray, and too many of her disciples had to pay the price. How do you mean? As Moon Bishop, it was Saizenza's duty to protect her temple. But when the time came, she could do nothing without Joan and Jode to show her the way. When the visions did not come, she tried to bring them with the sacred sugar. You remain as Moon Bishop. It is not for her to decide. If Khajiit lost their Ooh, sweet her, turban, <laughs> she would not be surprised. This one will beg forgiveness for her failings and accept the will of her clouder. She was too reliant on her gifts. And a leader must be more than a prophet. For the moment, it is all this one can do to try and restore peace and order to her temple. Then will come the true test. They leveled up. She knows the dragons will come to two moons, and her clouder must be prepared. <laughs> Let's see what she do now. One of my favorite bits of Khajiit lore is that um, Mayreen's Dagon is just like a really destructive kitten. <laughs> As cats are. Just like my cat. <laughs> well, that'll do for now. See you all next time. Bye bye for now. Do you need to say something too? Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs>